What's up everyone? This is Nate with ROA. We're here in South Carolina with a very special guest. Chris, up here. Hey there. Welcome. Uh, this is Chris from Escapod Trailers. Uh, we're based out of Utah. Excited to be working with ROA here in South Carolina. Yeah, so we are in front of a teardrop truly built for the South. And I've seen pretty much every teardrop out there and this stands apart for many reasons. So I wanted to walk through everything with Chris here and go over all the features of the Escapod. It'll be a quick video. We've got other videos out there. Chris and his team, they've done several. But I want to go through some of the main features, why I believe this is the nicest teardrop out there. So Chris, tell us a little bit about the construction and hit on the insulation yeah. and some of the features that makes it especially good for the South. Yeah, totally. So we talked about the construction. We talked about a one piece fiberglass shell. What that really means is there are no seams in this at all. Uh, the material that crosses all of the corners uh, is all integral to the body. Inside of that laminate structure is actually insulation, which gives the body its strength. Uh, so this teardrop doesn't have an interior structure, then we just plop a uh, fiberglass shell over. The fiberglass is its structure. And so if you hit this, this baby is solid. Um, what that does is allows us to give unique shape to fit more material on the inside. So things like mechanicals, uh, insulation, uh, and then some of the space that we have in there for storage, things like shoe storage and hand coat closet. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, so most trailers, it's gonna be walls, roof, and your somehow, you know, bolting, stapling, yeah, securing those exactly. together. Right. But this is a single solid piece right. molded. Right. And you yeah, no fasteners at all on the exterior body. So this is all done with composite. So fiberglass, resin, um, making it all completely structural. So we don't need any of that interior yeah. structure at all. Yeah, so that's going to be incredible for longevity, leaks, and insulation. Yeah, absolutely. We cover that with a five-year warranty too. So uh, class leading warranty um for those items and it just it just makes a ton of sense for the south where it's like today it's, it's been raining all day um you guys see a lot more of that than we do on the on the west coast uh so in utah we don't see a lot of that rain um here uh we do and so we think the topo too is is the best for for the south down here. yeah yep for leaks and yep. for the heat yeah up top we have a dometic 12 volt air conditioner so you can keep this cool if it's 100 degrees outside, it will stay nice and cool. And then another thing I really love about these is that it is a true four season. It has a true Macombi, so it has heat ducted into the cabin and ducted to the back, the kitchen area, the water tank, that's all gonna stay warm. I was talking to them and they have a customer up in Alaska. <laughs> He's been camping out, yeah. staying nice and yeah. warm, no issues. And these are built out of, outside of Park City, Utah, so, right. you know, you know, we know cold, cold. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I think it's about extending the camping season on on all sides, right? So as the temperatures start to rise, uh, we have insulation, which keeps it cooler in the cabin. Yeah. Twelve volt air conditioning that you can run off grid, uh, and then as you start your temperatures start to drop, uh, you're not so worried about uh, your mechanical systems freezing, like your water system, uh, because all of that's behind the insulation, and we're able to run heat ducts to the water compartments. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Why don't you get a look down here at the suspension, because that's another thing that really sets this apart from most other teardrops out there. So, Chris, where do you guys get these suspension systems? Yeah. So this is a proprietary suspension called the Free Ride uh, suspension. This is a coilover trailing arm design, uh, completely galvanized front to back for longevity. Uh, we were able to develop a suspension. Uh, that is suited for our 1900 pound trailer. What you end up having is a really beefy suspension on a lightweight trailer. Uh, and what happens is uh, we're able to um, really design in reactivity into the suspension. Uh, so it keeps the forces from traveling into the body. Uh, so our suspension does soak up things like washboards and larger hits, um, but it also travels down the highway extremely well. We don't get trailer sway. Uh, when you go over a big bump or a pothole, uh, the trailer is really settled behind you. And that's really seen if I just apply a little bit of weight to the trailer, you know, you start to get a really reactive suspension just by providing a little bit of weight. And so while you're traveling down the road, the trailer's traveling behind you. Yeah, most, a lot of teardrops will claim they have off-road suspension, independent, and it's a timber and 
piece of rubber. Yeah. And <laughs> you're going to be on a bumpy road. Yeah. You'll look behind you and the thing will be bouncing right. all over the road. Rubberized suspensions are, are durable. I mean, yeah. like that you've seen them on military trailers for years. You've seen them on thousands or millions of, of RVs. Uh, the problem with rubber is it expands in the same way it contracts. Uh, with our suspension, you do have dampening in the suspension. So we have a shock that doesn't allow the spring to extend back at full rate. And so it really calms the suspension down. And so it won't bounce behind you. Why don't we take a swing over here to the driver's side. We've got the annex set up. So this is a rope awning and we put the walls on. This is completely enclosed. If there's bugs or if it's really windy, you can set this out and you can crawl right outside from the cabin into your enclosure. And a lot of the pain points that people have with a teardrop trailer is gonna be, there's nowhere to stand up inside, there's nowhere to change, or there's no bathroom inside. But you know, you can zip, zip this on in less than five minutes and then you have a changing room, you have a bathroom, you have a place to eat dinner and hang out if it's raining or, or windy. Yeah, like you said, it solves a lot of those concerns, right? You know, a place to change um, in a teardrop is really great. A place to have dinner if it's raining or if it's windy, uh, away from the bugs, away from the elements. It's, it's great. And it really extends the, uh, the usability of the camping or the camper. So. Awesome, let's check out the kitchen. So my favorite part about the kitchen is gonna be not just how They've, they've placed the stove low so you can actually access it. A lot of times they have them up here. My wife is very short and she loves to do the cooking. So this is actually usable for her. And this isn't your typical Dometic stove that you see in most trailers. This thing isn't gonna rattle. It's not gonna actually fall out. And it's built, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was built by the marine industry? Yeah, this is built for the marine industry. This is a French company called Eno. It, like you said, it provides more quality uh, for something as simple as a stove, where you want to just to work when you roll into camp. You don't want to roll into camp and find out that, you know, all the screws fell out of it. Yeah. Um, and you want it to make sure, you know, you want to make sure that it does work when you get to your, your campsite. So. Yeah, I'm a huge. I'm not super familiar with this brand, but I've been less than impressed with the other brands oh, out yeah. there, and this looks yeah. much, we've much used, dirtier. We've used them all. We, have, we absolutely have. We love the Eno stoves, and they, they don't really need us. Well, I think there are some other videos out there that go into detail on everything. You know, you guys have masterfully planned everything, where everything sits. Easy to access electronics. You're not having to unscrew panels right. and crack out your toolbox just to access the batteries. You can just take these out. Back here is the Truma system. So we do have some more videos. You guys have some videos that are more in depth of all of the features. I really just wanted to get a quick walk around and introduce Chris and announce the partnership that we're gonna be working with Escapod. And I'm so excited because like I said, I've seen all the teardrops out there. And as soon as I saw the Escapod, I was blown away. And I've been like talking to you guys wanting to carry this product because I'm so impressed, so. We're, we're here in South Carolina. We've got a location in Utah and the Escapod facility is in Utah. So you can see their facility. They have a sales center over in Utah and any questions you guys have, feel free to reach out. Yeah, thank you. We're excited to work with ROA. We truly believe this is a great partnership and, and excited to get Escapod east of the Mississippi, Mississippi. I know you guys have been asking for a long time. And so thanks for, for helping us out with that and we're excited for partnership. Yeah, awesome. So it's 801-860-0035 if you guys want to reach out.